Kayla Harrison, 28 years of age, 5'8", weighed in at 155, same as Moriel Charneski. There you see the reach advantage going the way of Charneski, 70 inches to Kayla Harrison, 65'5". But as Boss pointed out, if Kayla gets her hands on you, it is trouble. The two-time Olympic gold medalist is very crafty and extremely strong. Right now, we sit it inside the cage. Joe Martinez has the official introduction. And all five fans, we are set to go with this special event presented to you by United Lengths. Three five-minute rounds this scheduled in the PFL Lightweight Division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. She's a wrestler standing five feet, eight inches tall. Weighing it officially 155 pounds, she enters the cage tonight for the eighth time as a professional. Hailing from Austin, Texas, here is the machine, Moriel Chernesky. And across the cage, her opponent fighting into the red corner. A judo artist standing five feet, eight inches tall. She weighed it officially 155 and one quarter pounds. And in two professional bouts, stands perfect with two victories and no defeats. Here's the undefeated two-time Olympic judo gold medalist from Middletown, Ohio, Kayla Harrison. And your referee in charge of the action is Kevin McDonald. So a break from the men's competition, and we will get back to that with three more title belts on the line as Kayla Harrison gets back inside the cage for a third professional fight as she steps away from the world of judo. And right off the bat, Charneski going with the striking, oh. but she's gonna take some heavy kicks and a nice the judo toss there we go. right off the bat. Nice headlock. And that's so bad. Wow. Charneski, bad position to be Charneski in thought her striking was better and that her top jiu-jitsu game was better, but that's definitely not where she's at right now. She's found herself in a world of hurt with a two-time Olympic gold medalist in the yeah. full mount. <laughs> she's looking for it. Trying to minimize the damage. Oriel Charneski now in the red trunks on the bottom. I would like to go to a higher mount if I was Kayla. Look at Kayla vining in on those legs to keep her hips in position and not allow Moriel to, to hip over. Oof. That is not a good place. No, nope, that is She's definitely not some place. A lot of power. That's how she won the last time. Look at this, oh. Kayla's just sitting down and raining down heavy leather. This could end quickly if Moriel Charneski yeah, cannot find a way out of this. Gotta watch out, she's, she's definitely leaving her arms up yeah, there. There we go, she's grabbing it already. This is about the point if it was me down there, I'd be thinking, did I make the wrong career choice? <laughs> yes. This is not good. Oh, Kayla's got a real wow. tight oh up now. Oh, my. This is going to no be No way to defend here. herself. She's got that arm pinned around. Wow. Yeah, she doesn't want to go for a submission. She wants to stall, or maybe she does. Keep her yeah, here. here we go. She's, She's got to jump to the other Americana. side. Though. Well, Kayla's IQ nope. has increased dramatically since the first time we saw her fight. As you see her now trying to apply some jiu-jitsu moves, but good old-fashioned hammer fist in the mount will work just fine as well. Oh, yeah. gotta be careful. So Charneski, oh, is she gonna give up Charneski the back? Charneski almost, almost got the reversal, but now she's gonna give up the back. Kayla did a nice job floating around her there. But staying on top. Half Nelson. And she might slide into the straight arm bar from here again, as we saw her doing at the Olympics. Stretch that arm out, Charneski. Using that half, trying to turn Charneski back over to face up position. It's a lot of pressure. Oop. Tell you what, Charneski is yeah. pretty fortunate to get out oh, of that Right back to the judo toss. Nice big throw. Go to your base, and that's exactly what Kayla's done there. Oriel Charneski. Full mount. Oh, she mounted all the way over the arm. Can go to a triangle if she wants. Top side triangle's there if she yep. wants to try and take it. Charneski's going to get him up the back again and try and come out the back there door. There we got the arm bar. There's the arm bar attempt. 
Is giving up the back door a better option, though? Well, I mean... I mean, rather than having Caleb Mountain it, pound it's, you... It's, no, yeah, it's absolutely not the best option because she has six other options from there, but uh, certainly better than laying there getting punched in the face. Yeah, Kayla repositions there. She was awfully high. Stretched her out, did now a nice job of using her hips. And Charneski's just in a world of hurt. They're going to end this quickly. She can't defend herself. Got to find And that is there. it. Kevin McDonald has seen enough. It is all over. Kayla Harrison remains the gold standard in the PFL. Yeah, that was uh, total domination. Guys, it's just tough to prepare against someone with her level of, of judo. Randy, you said it. Once she gets her hands on you, yep. it's not good. It's not going to end well. There are few people in this sport that have that kind of expertise and that are able to stay in position that well. Three thirty-nine of round number one. Kevin McDonald has seen enough as Moriel Charneski unable to defend herself as Kayla Harrison took her back, spread her out, and then began to rain down even more heavy leather. As I think Kayla's upset with herself. She seems like she's irritated that that she didn't do better, and I don't. I'm not sure I understand that, but. So it's called a TKO for Kayla Harrison. Two-time Olympic gold medalist takes the victory here in round number one, and this is the beginning of the end. Right call was made. When we come back, we'll have the official decision when we return to the Big Apple on New Year's Eve. The wait is almost over. A live look at Times Square here in Manhattan. Just over two and a half hours until the ball drops and 2018 is ushered out for 2019. Back inside the Hulu Theater, Madison Square Garden. We take a look at Cajunomics. Not impressive numbers, but that's what happens when the fight ends as early as it did for the official decision. We go into Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Three minutes, 39 seconds, round number one. Reverie Kevin McDonald puts a halt to the bout. Your winner by TKO and still undefeated, Kayla Harrison! Congratulations, three wins, undefeated, and three finishes. I know you're biggest critic. How would you rate your own performance there? Gosh darn it. <laughs> I'm trying not to be a judo player in a cage, but when you do something for 20 years, sometimes you know, old habits are hard to break. You know, I wanted to come in, I wanted to work on my striking. I want to be an MMA fighter. You know, I want to be well-rounded. But uh, a couple throws are all right, right guys? 
I think it was pretty good. You said you wanted to do it in the first round. You did it in the first round. Look, we've got a women's lightweight division in the PFL next season. You must be excited about that. You said there's nothing like actually getting in here and competing. Yeah, I mean, there's no greater high in the world than stepping in the cage and trying to kick the crap out of somebody and have them do it back to you. And uh, I'm honored that the PFL is starting a 155-pound division. You know, they've put their trust in me, and I've got strong shoulders, so. Hey, guys, next year I'm going to be a millionaire. Woo! Give it up for your winner, Kayla Harrison. Back to Utah. <laughs> yep. Kayla Harrison takes her record to 3-0. and oh.